Okay, in the previous video, I talked about how I discovered cider mojitos. I'm totally regretting that discovery right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, they were fantastic, but my head is absolutely killing me right now. Hello Shopify people! My name is Andrew from EconExperts.io and welcome back to another Shopify app review where we review Shopify apps for you so you can kind of have a behind the scene look of what the app is. Okay, cool. So this week we are looking at Gem Pages. Gem Pages is a page builder and a funnel builder uh, that has about 1,600 reviews and a 4.9 out of 5 average rating, which is pretty impressive. Uh, they have uh, three plans, if I remember correctly, with the most affordable one starting at $15 an hour. Now, uh, if you ask the owners, uh, why would people need to use your app? They will tell you uh, it will make stunning and professional pages without any code required. And also we have all of these little built-in mini apps that will save you tons of time and dinero. I'm not sure they'll actually say it like that because I have no idea who these people are. I'm sure they're super chill. Uh, but anyway, that is kind of their sales pitch. Now, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna go, uh, uh, to the back of the app but before I do that I have to ask you one thing these videos take a lot of time a lot of money on my side which is 100% fine but what would make a huge difference is if you could like and subscribe both so that it boosts my visibility and people know about uh, this channel and I can continue making these apps and I can review your favorite app that you've been hawking. Uh, also, if you want me to review a specific app, let me know in the comments below and I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go to the app. All right, the app is installed and integrated with our demo shop, but first, did you or did you not smash? that subscribe button like seriously i'm taking big pauses so that you can smash the subscribe button it's really important for us thank you so much all right so uh now that we are on the dashboard the dashboard looks fine we have the menu to the left with a list of items sub pages templates content creation and help center as you can see uh, speaking of help in case you need help or assistance from the customer support you can find them in the live chat in the bottom right corner and also, Gem Pages have an amazing library of video tutorials. And you might have guessed it, we love video tutorials and we love live chat. All right, that is it for the dashboard. It is time to start creating our first page. Okay, let's go to the dashboard and click on create a new pages. Bada boom, a new window has appeared with a list of templates. And by clicking on this button here, you can create your own page. So click on it and a new window pops up for the sub page name. Uh, let's name it autumn slash winter 2019 sale. Click on create new button. In case your website is password protected, you will need to provide your password so the app can work properly. All right, guys, we are on the page editor right now. Uh, in this box here, we can add a new section, add the templates or drag element from a left sidebar. If you click on add a new template, a number of pre-made blocks and templates will appear. So let's hover over this a nice looking hello block and click on insert. It's looking really nice I must say and if you want to customize any elements from this block just click on it on the left block and the settings will appear uh, from the text block you can change the fonts color spacing height and the alignment and if you click on the design button right here you can play with the visibility spacing background border shadow and the opacity it really feels like the options are limitless all right so, all right so let's go back to the elements and in the first section we can choose between the row heading text block image icon button separator in a liquid let's add the separator right under this block we already have so drag the separator from the sidebar and drop it where you want. It's actually really easy. As soon as the separator is dropped, the sidebar settings for this element appear. Ooh. We can change the color, type, dimension, and the alignment. And in the design tab, the same things with other elements like visibility, spacing, background, border, shadow, and opacity. The separator is done. So now we can drag some of the heading right under it. Click on your heading goes here. And now let's type the new collection is here. All right, looking good. 
does it. Oh, I almost forgot. On the top of the page, you can change the device preview to desktop, laptop, tablet, and or mobile. Uh, you can also export data, upgrade, save, preview, and publish the page. In the banner section, we can choose between the parallax and the hero banner. Let me know in the comments, do you guys prefer a hero banner or a slideshow? Our clients always want to go with a slideshow and it's kind of hard to explain, but that means extra images, extra stuff, and that kind of slows down your store. So I would suggest going with a hero banner instead. You know, the faster you store, the more money you're going to make. It's pretty simple math. All right, let's drag the hero banner just to see how it looks. All right, again, I'm impressed. Just add your picture and it's done. It looks crazy good. Next in line is stack. In this section, we can add tabs, carousel, pricing, and an accordion. Let's check tabs. So drag and drop, and we have tabs on the page. You can add an infinite number of tabs. Just click on this little button right here. Two tab styles are available, default and underline. You can also change the color, border size, and the alignment. And if you want to customize it even more, you just go to the design tab. Gempage's app allows you to add icon list hose and icon list and in the module tab you can even add google maps and instagram element so if you have a brick and mortar store you can add it on google maps so your customer can find you easily it's really a nice feature to have this app like some of the other apps we reviewed really also feels like 10 apps in one i mean in the next section you can even add custom pop-ups you can choose between regular pop-up or a video pop-up actually speaking of video in case you want to show the video on your page, you can do that in the next section. You can choose between YouTube, Vimeo, and video background. Uh, video background? Okay, you want this app right now, don't you? All right, let's drag it to our page and show it to you in action. Important note is due to, due to the limitations of the mobile web browser, the video background won't be auto-playing on mobile. So you may want to set it to hidden on mobile only and display the video pop-up instead. It doesn't matter, it will look awesome on a desktop, so we are leaving it here. You can add a video from YouTube or Vimeo, as I said, and you can also choose if you want to enable the sound. Just toggle this button from off to on and you have the sound in your background video. Again, the design tab offers the same options as other elements. We are in the product section now and we can choose from the, the product, the product list, related products, title, description, price, quantity, image, image list, variance, swatches, card button, view more, stock counter, and the meta. That was a list. All right, basically you can create your own product section with custom text, pictures, price, etc. We will add the product list and the list is automatically generated. You can choose the collection you want to show, the number of products per row, the number of products in total spacing, and heights of this element. I really hope all of this works since I'm loving this app so far. All right, let's quickly check out the other elements. Next is booster. In the booster section, you can choose to add countdown, counter, social share, and mailchimp. Huh, nice. And in the form field, you can add contact form, email field, text field, text area, drop down checkbox, and submit button. You can basically create your own contact field or you can use the pre-made one. The collection elements are in the beta testing phase, so we won't play with it too much. Uh, but from here, you can add collection banner, collection title, collection description, toolbar, and the paginator. The last stop in this amazing editor is the article element. You can use it for your blog pages or in case you want to add some article section on your other pages. You can choose from the the article list, title, content, image, and date. All right, guys, time to publish this place. So click on the blue button that says publish, uh, choose your page title, URL, and handle. Also, you can add a meta description and a lazy loading. All right, and click on publish now. Okay, the page is live, the moment of truth. So click on this little eye on the top of the right corner. And here is our landing page. All right, it looks amazing. Wow. And we were kind of just playing around. I can't imagine how it would look if we put actually some effort in creating. All right, guys, this app is amazing. As I mentioned, we were only playing around and ended up looking so nice and professional. I mean, I don't have enough words to explain how amusing this was. I felt like I was playing some kind of game or something and we only tested to the few of the features.
congratulations, Gem Pages, on this app. I would definitely recommend this app for everyone that kind of wants to test their landing pages. Usually these type of drag and drop builders do slow down the website relatively significantly, but that is fine if you want to test the design of your landing page. Once you know that land, the specific landing page converts, let your developer know and they will hard code the exact same page in real life, significantly speeding up your store. So this is really the perfect alternative to kind of figure things out, what works and what doesn't. All right, finally, we have installed and tested our app. How exactly do we uninstall and remove this code from our store? Uh, we will go to our store dashboard uh, and we are looking for gem pages. So here it is. We click the delete icon on the far right and another window pops up. Uh, let's skip the reason and click on remove. And so now the app is uninstalled, kind of. Not really. So what happened right now is that Shopify basically removed GemPages' access to your store. The app might not look like it's there, but the code is still in your store. It's still there. And that is what most, if not all apps like that. So because these lines of codes add up, you should definitely go inside your code and remove it there as well. Let's see how to remove it. This is the part I want you to pay attention to. We will go to our store admin dashboard in the left sidebar. Under the sales channel, we click on online store, a set menu will appear, we select teams, and we are taken to this window where you can view our current team. On the top of our team template, there are two buttons, actions and customize. So now we will go inside the code. We will click on action and a drop down menu appears. We will select edit code. And so now we arrive in the code in the back office, if you will, of your store. We click on layout first on the left sidebar. And we are looking for this file called team.gem-layout-non.liquid. Uh, we click on it and the code is opened. On the top right corner, we have three tabs, delete, rename, and save. We will click the delete file and a pop-up window appears. Are you sure you want to delete layout slash team.gem.layout-non.liquid? So this is like the title of this little file says, the gem layout. File. Uh, this action cannot be undone. So we will click delete. Next, we will go to the template. Published pages HTML content are always saved inside templates. So with the name starting with index.gem, page.gem, product.gem, article.gem. The exact files we are looking for in our code to delete are index.gem preview.liquid, page.gem with the long code. 463 etc dash template dot liquid page dot gem with a different code dash template dot liquid the fact that it says page dot gem as i just mentioned refers to um, the gem pages app builds we will select the files and delete them one by one as we did with our first file next we will go to the next menu item snippets this is where the app header and footer files are found and our exact files in this case are gem-app-footer-scripts.liquid and gem-app-header-scripts.liquid. We will select the files and delete them one by one as we did with the other files. These are script files so these definitely slow it down more than the previous files we just mentioned. Finally, we go back to our sidebar menu and click on Asset. All the published pages supporting CSS and JavaScript codes are saved inside Assets with the names starting with gem dash. Our exact files here will be gem dash page dash then the number dash CSS dot liquid. So these are the style files that make your pages look pretty. And you also have gem dash page dash the number dash GS dot liquid. These are the JavaScript files that tell your app how to function. We delete these two just as we did with the other files. To confirm whether our app has gone, we click preview on our top right corner and let's see how this goes. A new window opens and boom, just like that, the app is not there. Now, if you need help with this, that's why we are here. So just reach out to us at ecomexperts.io and we will gladly do this for you. All right, guys, that is it for today. One thing. One thing I want you to know is we have built 
a Slack app. So if you use Slack, there is a 100% free app. It's going to cost you no the baller, like we say in Belgium. It's going to cost you nothing. It adds a channel into your Slack group. And in that channel, it posts all the Shopify news and updates. Why is this important? Maybe there is an app on the Shopify network that just came out that's really important and that's going to make your life like a hundred thousand times easier and you didn't know about. When I used to have a store, this was back in the days before there was customizable sections on the website. They came out with that during the time I had a store and I had no idea because I never updated my team and I didn't really know that they rolled out this feature and that could have saved me ton of time and money. So it is important that you stay up to date with what happens in the Shopify network or in the Shopify ecosystem. But you know, Facebook and the news is all spread and it's all made for you to click on links. Well, we have developed this Slack app that's built so that you can just read the title. It gets posted into a specific channel, into your Slack group or into your Slack channel. It gets posted to like a little spot that you decide and you get all the news and you can just title read. And then of course there's a link if you want to know more, but at least you are kind of aware of what's happening in the ecosystem. And when people are like, hey, you're on Shopify, you know they just like had their millionth user. You're not like, ah, uh, Shopify has a million users. Thanks a lot, guys. This was this week's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all our other videos and see you in the next one.